Hello and welcome to the presentation of a paper in the January 2018 issue of Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology. My name is Meta Ek. I'm a physiotherapist working at the Regional Rehabilitation Center in Gothenburg, Sweden. The paper I'm going to talk about is on children with dyskinetic cerebral palsy and the effect of intrathecal baclofen. We made a retrospective review of medical records of 25 children receiving a baclofen pump during a 10 year period. Uh, uh, you can see they have a severe motor impairment, also accompanied by several other problems. All but one had no speech and needed support in sitting. They were assessed before and after a minimum of one year after pump implantation regarding uh, uh, mesh with, the, with measurement of dystonia, spasticity and range of, range of motion. Parents were uh, interviewed regarding everyday activities such as communication, activities of daily living and sitting, as well as fine and gross motor function. Uh, and you can see uh, the results. After ITB, there were improvements with the reduction of dystonia and spasticity. You can see the number of patients getting better in green color and deteriorating in red. There was no change in range of motion. Uh, and if, if we look at uh, the uh, everyday activities, they were graded by parents in a three-level ordinal scale, better, no change or worse. This is presented with the same color code. Uh, there were improvements in activities such as communication, activities of daily living, sitting and fine motor function, making daily life easier for both children and parents. We saw no change in gross motor function. Uh, and by this we conclude that intrathecal baclofen may, may have the potential to improve everyday life for patients with dyskinetic cerebral palsy. Thank you.